What's up, everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video. And look, if you've never visited my channel before, please, please give this one video a chance out of everything you watch today. It's going to be that important by the time I get to the end. What I'm going to be talking about is I'm going to lay the cards out on the table. I have gotten this far in my research and when you hear what i have to say you're going to be shocked but here we go and to start i first reported on this news article in fortune magazine in my video the curious case of robin hood and the buy button removal i did that on april 11th and here's the story in fortune magazine the real story behind Robin Hood's decision to restrict GameStop trading. All right, I'll put it in, in the description below. But what I want to bring your attention to is right here. While Robin Hood's CEO was indeed awakened from sleep by a frantic call, that call came from the company's own operations team, not the NSCC itself. The reason for the call was a letter Robin Hood had received from the NSCC setting out its daily collateral demands. I'm going to read this sentence one more time because it's that important, people. Listen, the reason for the call was a letter Robin Hood had received from the NSCC setting out its daily collateral demands for the day. They received that letter from the NSCC. They didn't call. And if you see the next sentence, such letters go out to around 100 brokerages at 7 a.m. Eastern time, around 4 a.m. on the West Coast, where Robin Hood is based every morning. So receiving one came as no surprise. They get a collateral damage letter every day. Okay? Think about that. And looking over here on our little fancy graphic that I like to try to do for y'all, and y'all seem to like too, I, I drew it up just a little bit so you could see it. The Daily Collateral Demands Letter. In a nutshell, the NSCC tells the brokers what their positions are and rather that they are up or down. It looks like this. The NSCC sends the collateral demand letters to all the different brokers, over a hundred of them. Get it. And it tells them what their positions are and rather they're up or down. It's that simple. But here's the thing. Everybody focuses on Robin Hood when Robin Hood was not the only one who took the buy button away. So watch this. Robin Hood took the buy button away. TD Ameritrade took the buy button away. E-Trade took the buy button away. Weeble took the buy button away. And Stash took the buy button away. In fact, there were 13 brokers that took the buy button away. And do you want to know what almost all of them had in common? Yep. They used the same clearinghouse. So, what this is telling me is, for every broker that got the letter, they turn the buy button off. They use the same strategy. We can't sell no more. We're, our position is over leveraged. So they turn the buy button off. But it came from mostly Apex Clearinghouse people that got the collateral damage that they owed so much money. So it's just my opinion. But knowing that every morning, a collateral damage letter goes out to all the brokers, a hundred over a hundred, but at least all the brokers in Apex. Wouldn't it be wise to overload Apex with orders to the point of when they get their collateral damage letter the next morning, it'll say, Hey motherfuckers, y'all do realize you have sold eight hundred million shares of amc we need some money that call that margin call cannot come as long as 
they're not overloaded. But if they're overloaded, if, if, listen, I can't give you financial advice, but if the companies that were with Apex were overloaded, when they got their collateral damage letter, it would say, pony up the money, bitches. It's about hitting the clearing house. Apex clearing house specifically, because in January, Apex clearing house got hit with the collateral damage letter and they sent out all to all the brokers and they said, Hey, y'all got to come up with some fucking money or a plan one. So it's only common sense to me that if we want this motherfucker to squeeze people, please listen to me. Go to Weeble, go to Moo Moo, go to TD Ameritrade, E Trade. I don't care. Sign up, get a free account. Get you a free shares. When you get your free shares, turn it into AMC shares, and we will overload these people, and they will be paying for it, not us. So they're giving us free shares. We turn it into AMC shares that they will have to buy back from us at a later date, but they have to get the collateral damage letters. That's how they get a margin call. So we have to flood Apex Clearing. That's the solution, people. I'm telling y'all. I love y'all. Be blessed. Watch this video again. Understand what a daily collateral damage letter is. When do they get it? Every day. Tells them their positions, how many shares they have. And when they got overloaded, I've showed y'all the chart. <clears throat> there was a push to get out of the little brokers. But that's it. That's the solution. It's as simple as that. If we overload Apex Clearinghouse and they get the collateral damage letter, the squeeze will be on. Love y'all. Be blessed.